Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Ricochet. Welcome to the vlog. I figured I would just kind of sit back and do an update about prep. Um, when probably more geared towards competitors, for instance, but just kind of talk about my progress, where things are at. Um, I took some measurements today, so I can give you an update on those. We can talk a little bit about my weight, um, things of that nature. Um, and yes, for those who have seen other videos, I am sitting on my kitchen counter right now, the kitchen island. Uh, because I couldn't quite get the camera right today. So here we go. Um, I wonder if you can hear the coffee in the background. I'm making coffee, by the way, because we're about to eat fat bombs that I made for Sculpt's channel with my husband. So that's just the coffee pot running. Just forget about that, because we all know that bulletproof coffee is super important to me. Um, okay, so... Prep is challenging, um, but I'm not totally stressed out. Uh, maybe not as stressed out as I have been in the years past when I'm at this point into a prep. The good thing is over the years I've conditioned my body so prep isn't as difficult as it used to be and I keep my body probably in better condition uh, than years prior. I'm a natural competitor. Um, I barely take pre-workout. I take maybe a little bit of creatine and everything else that I take I get from my food so all of my nutrients um, come from my food and I also take some vitamins as supplements I don't I don't really take anything else so when it comes to cutting that can be a little more difficult than let's say had I had a, a bit of um, I would say a little extra push if you will um, from not competing naturally and what else to say? Uh, so I've managed my weight in between shows. Uh, my weight is ping ponging now between 125, 126. So I'm, I'm down about another pound. But my measurements are what um, have subsp like substantially changed. So in the past week, my weight came down a half. Um, sorry, my weight came down maybe a pound. My waist is down just over a half an inch. My, um, right around my under bust, right? An empire waist, if you will. That came down an inch this week. Um, bust was down three quarters of an inch. And then around my hips, I'm down uh, probably right around a half an inch. And so, and then around my hip bones, the measurement came down maybe a quarter of an inch or so. That's pretty substantial for for one week progress. And, and the only difference in my macros from the week prior, I think was maybe five grams of protein and five to 10 grams of fat. That's the only difference. I am still eating 10. 10 carbohydrates a day um, and then my macros right now I'm sure you're probably interested in that so we just dropped my macros today so I am having um, oh shit what's my macros what are my macros oh so that's my macros at um, I'm under seven weeks out right now and so those will probably continue to drop on a weekly basis I feel great so I know most people would think oh my god are you dying no I'm not dying I feel wonderful um, I am fat adapted so when you're fat adapted one you don't need as many calories um, and two you're burning ketones for fuel you're not burning carbs so I'm not feeling like I need to eat every two hours and obsessing over food. Uh, this is probably the most healthy prep that I think that I've ever done. This is the least food obsessed, I would say, that I've um, ever been during a prep. I have high energy. Um, just to give you an example, uh, I looked over my training logs and since I went keto, um, I have added to all of my weights in the gym. I'm able to push out more pull-ups. I have added 30 pounds to my pull-downs. 
um, my leg extensions went up like 60 pounds um, as well as my leg press. Now, what do I think is the magical thing here? Well, I mean, yes, the keto diet is protein sparing and it is muscle sparing. But I think the most important thing is a ketogenic diet um, has anti-inflammatory properties. So my body is just recovering really well. I'm doing far less cardio than I used to do and I only just upped it last week. Um, so 20, 30 minute sessions tops and now I'll pull two a days about three days a week and maybe one long outdoor walk. I don't really count that as cardio. That's just kind of something for my mental health and something to do with my husband. We get out outdoors and enjoy our time. Um, so what else did I want to say? If you're a competitor and the scale's not moving, don't obsess over it. Uh, the scale hasn't really moved that much for me, but my recompositioning is there. And that's the important thing, is the measurements, how I'm feeling, my strength in the gym. I'm not really that worried that um, the scale has a certain number on it. I feel good, I, I'm starting to look good, I keep getting leaner and leaner, so I think that's the most important thing. Um, I'm not hungry all the time. I am eating in a four hour window every day. Let me repeat that again. So, a four hour window is all I eat every day. So I am fasted for a total of 20 hours with the exception of, you guessed it, my morning bulletproof coffee. And I push fat pretty high in the morning, um, and that's pre-workout, so I, I take a, a huge bulletproof coffee and I split it into two. I drink half of that pre-workout, and then I drink the other half post-workout. Um, so that is breaking my fast, um, but I'm not eating anything other than a little bit of Kerrygold butter and MCT oil in my coffee with some stevia. That's it, and like cinnamon, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think what else to share with you. My PCOS symptoms are, are pretty good. Oh, one thing that I've discovered since I went back on keto. I used to just think that my celiac was just totally crazy rampant and um, most of my issues were from celiac. Guess what I found out? I have a problem with lactose. I didn't know that until I had pulled 100% without a doubt, all of those carbs and starches out of my diet that I thought was inflaming me constantly. And then I found out that I was having problems with lactose. And I've eaten cheese in the past, but I was eating cheese apparently that was like super low in lactose. Um, so I never picked up on it. And I was always having cheese sometimes with like crackers or pasta. So I was thinking, oh, okay, well, it's it's the wheat, it's the gluten. Um, well, now what I found is I can't handle um, cream, like at all. I'm like violently sick within five minutes of having heavy cream. Now, I can handle ghee butter, I can handle butter, and I can handle Parmesan or, um, cheddar, things that are traditionally aged are very, very low in terms of lactose. So that's a tip for you all. If you're lactose intolerant, you might be able to handle um, small amounts of lactose um, in some dairy products. So quick tip for you on that. Um, so now I figured out I had to cut that out too. So my food choices continue to get more and more limited. If you like the series that I've been working on and I put a lot of time and effort into this guys this is not a short process please subscribe click the thumb up if you like this video and if there's anything you want me to talk about prep diet workouts any of that I'm totally open to creating a video for you just let me know send me a message email me or comment below um, have a great rest of your weekend have a fabulous week I will try and check in with you midweek again on prep. Um, be well, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Aloha.